and gets to play Jackson Free. It might. Might also mean King and King. There we go. Agreement. This is a dignified top lane. That's what I'm talking about. You know, the red and black tinges of the Scion and the Orn, absolutely glorious as they saunter majestically towards a lane where they will just beat minions. Hey, till they can be great front lines for their team. And farm grass procs off of one another. Yeah. In perfect unison. Oh, it's glorious. It all right, ladies and gentlemen, the skin coordination, actually fantastic between Clid and Viper. You love to see it. Also, the Yumi skin working out very well. Look at the color coordination. You love it. Um, Kingen, just having a great time, of course. Very, very comfortable on this one. Was uh, by far his best pick um, last year. This year, all the time. He's just very, very good. We probably don't need to check, on it, check in on it too much more. As so far, Chronicler, it's going better and worse for Hummel Life Esports because remember, Viper got first blood last game. Um, okay, uh, King is very far forward. Just uh, breathing on the Scion a little bit. A bit more aggression than I was promised in my Scion versus Orn lane. Um, but yes, uh, Viper doesn't have that first blood, but also things haven't kind of fallen off the rails um, as much as they, uh, they did quite early on. It's cleared. Going to make his way in, see whether they can get something here as Zekka is just going to flash Body Slam. Finds the charm, but it's on to Clint, and Clint's just going to be able to grab it. Dives under the turret. I'm not sure whether you really wanted to do that. However, he is going to survive, at least, after sacrificing 100% of his health bar to the turret gods. Big win there for Humble Life. Zekka gets the setup, flash Body Slam, and already does enough damage to the point where when Faker flashes, Clint, even though he does not hit his Q, still a... Look at how much time he wasted for this Zeri Yumi. That's a full minion wave they are not going to get. And that's a plate they cannot defend. Gumiyushi's got the best guns. I said plate, I meant two plates. Oh my goodness. You know what the best part is about that? On the day that Laura joins, we get not only some French fans, but that So, makes a ton of sense. Owner getting a loan, so gonna be very strong for this moment. Wonder if he'll actually be able to utilize it. But T1 picked up the dragon as well uh, a few minutes ago and should have an opportunity to contest heavily as well as. Oh, Clid. This is dangerous. But Zayas Harry is has going OT. To be here. Yeah, Clid's gonna get spotted. He slinks in, gets pushed back there. Gravitum has been armed. Clid. He may need to ult to try and get out of this one, but no, he is just going to be able to walk it off. Should Almost be spotted. fine. As, yep, oh no, with the Rift Herald, he can just come around and drop that if he would like to, but maybe they don't even need to. Maybe they could use it in a different lane, because this turret is on its last legs, and it's 10 minutes. But they could also increase the tempo and just throw it down anyway, as Viper sticks around for a moment, but he will have to leave. As Speaking of, uh, yeah, okay, the train is going to arrive, but thankfully, um, Viper does just skate his way out, so isn't going to die to it. Still, that is going to guarantee the turret and T1 have so much control of this game. And this time around, it's King and um, unlike the Jack. Yeah, we are desperately praying for a Cloud Soul. Not a whole lot of better options. As owner has started this one up, Clid was in his mist for a few moments. Oh, look at the TP from Zekka. Yeah, that's a deep one. angle. That is very, very deep. He's looking for it. Drake's gone, though. Yeah, are we actually going to be able to find anything to actually fight for as Kingen's going to have his ram denied? Zekker also trying to move over here. Clid looking for Faker, but he has Spirit Rush. He's going to be absolutely fine. And it is just Drake being taken. Honestly, not anything else to really worry about. And then the Scion is just going to unstoppably onslaught away. Okay, Humble Life Esports maybe feeling a bit of the fatigue. It's very late here. Um, but I don't think... Humble Life have an incredibly strong team fight. And, and they have Orn, they have Zeri. There is so much power for them, but if they take a right. fight here and they don't win, they might be in deep trouble. No call of the Forge God. Once again, the objective is extraordinarily low and taken here by Owner. He selects the eye as Orn is going to run away. Viper trying to get some damage in here. Zekka seems to be the target. Able to body slam away, though. And Humble Life Esports just watching as things get taken from them, I guess. But 
that's better than the alternative, which was hard for us to fight there. Okay, we're banning this, 100%. But Nelio, it feels a lot more insidious. A player like Karia, very often, even on things like Kench, we talk about him being flashy. Yeah. Milio just is is not that champion at all. Uh, as, um, oh, might have cursed him. Oh, was pretty flashy there. Don't look at me like that. I had to say it. It was, yeah, you know, I guess. I mean, uh, couldn't be more of okay, a platter, okay? Okay, you're right, you're right, you're yeah. right. It was, good, it was good comedic time. Thank you. I'm just... Yeah, no, I, I'd be disappointed as well. But it had to happen. It had to happen. You had to do it to him. I did. I did. Well, we'll see with the Hummel Life. You grab this Drake. As you can see, T1 not wanting to give it up. Great charm. He's going to connect there. As immediately, you've got Zekka being taken out. It's only that gets that kill. As now Viper just desperately trying to get himself out. They should be able to utilize the ult in order to do so. And they will be able to escape. Holding onto the flash as well there for Viper is certainly good news also. So they sacrifice their Gragas and will be able to deny the dragon stacking here for T1. Uh, just hold on. Yeah. That's all that's on Honva's, uh, Honva's mind. Just try desperately to cling on to whatever you can defend. And uh, more and more is going down, right? Crucially, though. Crucially. Crucially. Honva Life got the track. And uh, hopefully also soon thereafter. Oh, no. To upgrade on people's. Oh, Zekka. Oh, no. I think Zekka may be in trouble. Um, he's going to go golden. Um, tries to get that cast down. Still going to flash. And oh, isn't actually going wait. to be taken out here. The re-engage opportunity. Is it going to happen as Faker is going to get sniped? There's the Prowling Projectile as well. Viper wants to be able to take this. The sidestep is just gorgeous. And Faker will be taken out before he can teleport. I don't know whether it deserves certification, but it's a kill for Viper. And if you're a Harmon Life Esports fan, yeah. Ari was still a Spellbook user this time around, though. Costly is oh. owner. Okay. Is just going to be able to hit him with a uh, W there. And now yeah. teleport onto the Baron. There the we King go. isn't here, and he doesn't have TP available. And, um, well, I mean, I've seen this movie before, uh, and you're going to see that they do get vision of this one. Faker is off to the side, finds the charm onto Clid. The Baron isn't dead just yet, though. He's looking to try and get in, but it's not. Oh, he almost gets it, but it's going to be secured by Ona. They take down Clid as well, as now Viper is going to get charmed. It didn't really seem that noticeable, because, of course, he's still going to be walking the same direction. But, oh, man, that is a, uh, a, a scary moment, but one that T1 are able to capitalize on nicely and maybe because of game number one, I was too scared. Well, uh, I, I, I'd love to see a slow down replay. The Trinity Fusion, the whatever it's called, the big damage triangle. I like Infinity Force. That I like it. Cool. That was my, I think that was our initial um, on name for it. I believe that was when LS and I were coming up with funny names a while ago. Um, but I think it might be Trinity Fusion, or at least it used to be. That's uh, okay. Hummer Life Esports wanted to stop the Soul Point from going down. Zayas just going to charge his Q as it is going to be the Drake secured by T1. Fight may be on, but it isn't. T1 just going to back away. Hummer Life Esports going to do the same thing. No point in fighting over nothing as the minion wave in mid is going to be where Viper turns his attention. And look, <laughs> this is T1 just uh, extending gold leads over and over again. However, like, there is a Zeri Yumi in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Look, it hasn't been, like, as far as um, jam-packed action, it hasn't been It's that. more of a, this has you been know, a thinking You know when your a friend, thinking oh, man's Zayus. As, uh, yeah, Zayus is going to be caught thinking for a moment. Yeah, he used that on the minion wave earlier on. The Q is going to be uh, denied. Viper gets another kill. The zombie ver version of the Scion is going to take down a, uh, a ward. So it's not, it's not, it's not Zayus' night outside of the uh, moments he had. Oh. Uh, Kingen's turn, or oh, the turnaround. There's the knockup onto Faker. The Ornhorn immediately is going to be called, and Faker says, no, you do not walk through my jungle. And uh, with that minion wave as best he can. Bottom wave just being left to its own devices. Hopefully it can take care of itself. And T1, they get mid prio, the Baron available. Huh. 5,000 gold, all that separates these two teams. You, you were hutting? Hu hu yeah, no, just uh, Viper getting the uh, the W activation. That was cool. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Ah, uh, Clint is going to have to Heartbreaker and is going to get his Heartbroken. Owner is going to clear him up. That is 
very swift execution. Zayas could be in trouble as well as Faker looks for the Spirit Rush. The Operation get behind Viper as Zekka is extraordinarily low. Viper is still okay, but everybody else is just getting destroyed. Viper ults, he's trying to do it, but he's gonna get charmed. He's gonna get taken out. And Humble IP Sports, that was not your team fight. T1 will win the game. Starts off with Khalid getting caught and ends with a clean ace for T1. That was the twist. That was the reveal. <laughs> that was the payout, Atlas, of the slow burn of a game. Um, what, what is that, like, by the way, T1 just still win? Is that, is that the twist? I guess. Oh, man, the, the riders must have striked, I think, uh, for that one to be a twist. As once again, uh, Glid is going to be charmed up and taken out. Nothing he can really do there as both of the Nexus turrets will be taken out. The Nexus to follow and T1. Oh, man, they made us wait, wait for it, but they managed to take the series against Hub.